This Italian house is a sneak peek of what I will build later on in this episode. While I'm still figuring out the details in creative, we have to find a spot where to build it and then construct the building. Detailing and interior will be further steps. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another day in Minecraft. My name is Hotsast. This area here is still a bit undeveloped and we start to change that today with improving the sorting stuff and start on the upgraded house. But first, let's have a look at the various items that need to be improved. The shulker filter and loader needs separation. The redstone signal from the sorter breaks the unloader. The whole cavern down here is unsightly and not mob safe. While it is clear what is stored on the left side, it's not so clear for the right side. Looking through the overflow chests, there are a lot of blocks that should have been sorted but were not. So let's start topside with the input issues. The problem with the unsorted items is hopper speed. From the input here they are shoot out with dropper speed which is double hopper speed so it needs to be slowed down. I also thought about decorations. With the old platform out there and the tank right here it seems fitting to stick to the same theme. So let's lay out the boundaries so I know how I can rework the input system. The issue with too many input items is easily solved. I can reduce the number of droppers to one. Even as the other one is powered by itself, it is only fed by one hopper, which is the limiting factor for its output. The Schalke sorter is a bit more complex. I will rip it out and rebuild it completely in a different way. It has to be on the inside of this ring, but the input for it should be on the outside. This way the two systems can work independently, the machine can be hidden away and there is a convenient way to add items and shulker boxes to the system. So let's jump into a time lapse while I build up the oil tank. The best part of this build behind me I left for last, so stick around till the end. But now it's actually time to start our actual house. And uh, with this location right here I don't find it uh, really suitable. Who wants to have a huge oil tank in the back garden? That's why I decided to move the house project over the bay, over there, and uh, we will need a bit of uh, landscaping because that peninsula is just too small. But we will stretch out it a bit and uh, then have a bit of uh, a hill in here where the uh, water is so that the uh, we don't have uh, this oil tank in our site. So let's get to it. This house project will stretch over multiple episodes. Today I will finish the shell complete with roof. 
Then we can focus on the interior, exterior and finally the landscaping around it to finish it off. When coming up with a design for such a house there is no right or wrong. I looked at various examples to get inspired and went with my imagination what a Tuscan house would look like. Tuscany is a region in Italy. While well, there are some important historical cities like Florence, Pisa and Siena, I want to have a more rural style. As indicated earlier, the last thing on this episode is uh, bringing the uh, oil tanker and the oil tank together. And the first thing here is uh, creating a pier here on the, on the side so uh, we can uh, enforce the uh, the port feeling of this area. The pier will be uh, four wide uh, like so and then there at the back we will have uh, uh, something like a staircase and below there will be uh, uh, struts uh, to support the pier. So let me finish that real quick and then I can show you the final result. As you can see here, the top does not look uh, very uh, exciting, but the exciting part is underneath, uh, where I have this uh, support pillows uh, every so often with a concrete uh, base. And the nice thing here is that uh, the water just uh, does not reach up to the to the underside of uh, the uh, underside slab, so we have a small peak in here for the for the support. And the last thing that needs to be done here is. Um, I need uh, some kind of uh, of pipe along here uh, that goes from the oil tanker up to the uh, oil tank and uh, with uh, many of these uh, uh, pipes uh, you probably have seen it many times by now uh, it's just some trapdoors on the outside and <coughs> sorry usually the uh, the uh, inside is uh, uh, is just water but here I think uh, as we're uh, dealing with oil uh, black stone uh, makes a nice color for it so let me finish that part as well and then we can have one final look. And now the pipe is also finished and I must say it looks quite good. If you've done this uh, uh, yourself you will know the tricky part are these uh, inside corners where you just can place uh, trapdoors on on both sides of the of the pipe so I think the uh, orange terracotta block here does the trick and with that let's fly out here over our bay area and we are at the end of this episode I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one goodbye